Blessings, Gemini soul travelers, and welcome to Venusian Empress Oracle, formerly known as the Priestess Prophecies. Yet yeah, it is still Priestess Melissa. It's so good to join you for your weekly reading. We are going to be checking into those shadow energies of Mercury retrograde to see what may be coming up for you today and for this week ahead, Gemini. We're going to tap into the wisdom of the hidden realms oracle cards to get our main message out and see if we're dealing with a ally or a challenge position for our card. We'll then tap into the tarot and see what's going on with the light seers as well as the vice versa tarot to clarify everything a bit further. We'll then get some messages of advice moving forward from our moonology cards. Love these cards. They always give great advice for helping us to kind of see what's going on and what energy we may be sitting in. Do stick around to the end for your love message. Just like on the Priestess Prophecies here at Venusian Empress Oracle, we will do a love message at the end of your reading, Gemini. That is going to come from the Romance Angels cards today. Now cover your ears or turn your volume down for just a moment. Let us set the energies and thanks. Give thanks to the angels, ancestors, way showers, and guides. Show us the wisdom we need to know for Gemini. Thank you. Take a couple of nice, slow, deep breaths and relax. Gemini, you are so amazing. Thank you so, so much for all of your support with your likes, comments, shares, donations. Do subscribe and hit the bell notification if you haven't already so you don't miss any of these weekly readings for your zodiac sign. You can watch these for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And also, you want to be sure to catch all of the daily readings. All right, these readings are timeless. I use different oracle cards as well as tarot cards for the readings. For Gemini, show us what we need to know. We have the Lady of Lightning. Well, something is about to come to light for you or some kind of paradigm shift, some kind of shake up. This is all about that tower energy. So two, 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 something has to change. Something has to give is what I was hearing. So whatever has been going on, perhaps even you have gotten to the point of just being at your wit's end with whatever the situation is. And that lightning is ready to strike down on whatever it needs to, person, place, or thing. I was hearing anything can get it. <laughs> you know, when God strikes, it's going to make sure and you're going to know. 35 comes to an 8. This is all about that infinity energy, all right? And how do we connect best with the physical and the non-physical? In our heart space, yes. That sends out a jolt of electricity that is many times stronger than the mind energy. So how cool is that? But I'm developing a program at happymediumhypnosis.com that is going to tap into the heart as well as the brain and the heart brain cells. Very cool stuff. All right, guys. So what is this energy saying to you, Gemini? What is needing to be shook up and dismantled and remantled, reassembled <laughs> in your life? Surprises, sometimes shock, total paradigm shift. So what is going on for you, Gemini? Let us check this energy out. It did come up in the upright, which is at least a good thing because it's an ally. But let's see what this card is saying for you, Gemini. As an ally, the Lady of Lightning brings powerful forces of change into your life. She tells you to expect a sudden shift in your circumstances. Hmm, where might this be for you, Gemini? Hit the like button if you're feeling this energy today. Or you thinking that it may be coming because this is talking about the shadow and moving into that mercury retrograde period and th that is a time for review reflection re 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 anything re okay perhaps a situation you weren't anticipating arises and offers you the opportunity of a lifetime yeah because you know mercury retrograde doesn't have to be totally negative but if you're anything like me you've already been stuttering You've already been having issues with your Wi-Fi and your devices, maybe even your vehicle, 444 coming up. I'm seeing a lot of repeating numbers for you and maybe you are seeing that as well, Gemini. 
So this would be saying something to you. Pay attention to what those numbers are particularly because that's going to be important for you to look into to get further clarity. So sometimes a something arises, an opportunity of a lifetime or a series of aha moments culminates in a pivotal flash of insight. Yeah, ever had one of those moments where you're just like, wow. I've literally heard this saying, or you know, people have told me this, or I've heard this millions of times, but only now do I actually really get it. Yeah, absolutely, just like that, causing everything to change, just like that, <laughs> just like I said. All right, so maybe someone enters your life, and maybe someone enters your life and pushes. <laughs> pushes you to new heights. You may have a brilliant idea that hits you like lightning. Yeah, what about that? That would be amazing, right? Hit the like button if you're having any of these kind of epiphanies or ahas or great ideas. I'd love to hear about them down in the comments below. And also hit the like button. Be prepared, change is imminent and a total paradigm shift may be upon you. Don't resist the changes, as this kind of lightning is not something you want to fight. Great things are happening when the Lady of Lightning appears, especially as your ally, right, Gemini? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, well, let's look at some of the other cards, the top and the bottom of the deck, to see what's going on here. On the bottom, the Word Lord, communication, praise, dishonesty. You're going to have to be really careful if you're signing any contracts at this time, Gemini. Um, I see that as being very important. You may get some kind of epiphany or aha about something. You may see something that you need to get more clarity into, if you will. The winged wise ones, angelic help, miraculous aid. So call on that aid that you may need, whether it be here on the earthly plane or in the heavens or both, right? You may need both to assist you, especially since we're talking about that eight and infinity energy, right? Connecting with those. So I see this as connecting with your spiritual guides. And I see this also as connecting with those people here on the earthly plane that can help assist you in ensuring that all of the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed, right? So definitely you're going to need that assistance, whatever this is, Gemini, to make sure that everything goes smoothly for you is what I'm hearing. All right, let's look a little bit further into this with the tarot and see what's going on. Could this be a marriage contract of some sort? All right, taking this leap of faith, perhaps, and feeling good about something that maybe, you know, haven't been burned in the past and you want to make sure that your bases are covered, you know, because we can get caught up in the moment in these situations and then later down the road, <laughs> five of cups energy, right? So it, we always want to make sure that, you know, everything stays the same in the beginning that as it does in the end if things don't end up working out the way that we may have planned right because we still want to have the ability to be happy to have wish fulfillment nine of cups energy you know, we don't want to have to regret our choices for the rest of our lives right gemini what is coming up so basically i was hearing like a prenup if you're considering marriage, you know, or just some kind of agreement where, you know, everybody is happy in the situation. And if any third parties are involved, well, we've got everything in place, you know, but if not, then hey, we can celebrate. What do we have to worry about? This is how you deal with those dishonest people and see what you need to see perhaps and maybe by putting some boundaries in place 9 11 i just saw on the timer with somebody that's going to cause them maybe to back out if you will hmm, what's going on here show me some more for gemini please but this is all about your happiness it could be a good thing you know but i'm just telling you what i'm seeing at the moment it's going to be balanced out whatever it is everything is going to be fair i feel like you're going to ensure that that's the case and spirit would definitely 
ask you to do the same, you know, as above, so below. And just like I said, with that eight energy, you know, we want to make sure that everything matches up and that everything goes smoothly for us. And when we're all on the same page and we got our, you know, reputations and our names on the line, that ensures that we're both invested in the growth of something, you know, so if somebody isn't then you definitely want to know that before you get too invested right <laughs> yeah absolutely you want to avoid any kind of things that are going to put you in the poor house dealing with toxic energies right but there's the key yeah you can always get yourself out of these situations but better to avoid them in the first place is what i'm hearing with all of this so if that means getting a contract in place so that you don't end up you know, being thrown off of your spiritual path, you know, and feeling disheartened because we didn't take the proper measures to ensure that justice aspect, you know, in the spiritual realm as well as on the physical realm. It's going to be very important for you to ensure that you're being balanced in this situation so you can avoid heartache. Absolutely. Five of Cups in reverse. Nobody likes crying over spilt milk, right? All right, let's clarify this a bit further and see what else we have for the Lady of Lightning energy for Gemini. Three of Cups energy, please. What do we need to know? Four of Wands energy. Definitely, you want to have happiness in your home. You want to jump the broomstick with somebody. You want everything to go well, right? You want to feel good, feel like the Empress, but you don't want to have to learn lessons the hard way after you've invested in something that you felt so good about, you know, and shout it out to the world. And now we've got the uh, lover's energy coming out here. Definitely, you know, in the past, there probably or there has been a lot of happiness around this situation is what I'm seeing, but perhaps there was a third party involved you know that came between this situation ace of wands energy is coming out that's that phallic boom boom stick energy as uh, green eyes calls it and uh five of swords energy so i really do think that somebody was you know <clears throat> covering something up if you will so justice what is this all about justice I do feel like this is around marriage or around a commitment for sure and some kind of breach of trust if you will or breach of a contract whatever it is though it's all going to get balanced out because here's the temperance along with the justice you know especially if you were doing what was right and somebody was just in there to try to you know maybe uh, get in on your legacy, your inheritance, get a piece of the pie, absolutely send that person packing. You don't need that kind of person in your camp, right? What else for the temperance energy? Ten of Cups, yeah, in reverse though. So, you know, this person may have tried to make you feel like everything was good and they were your end-all be-all, <clears throat> but I do feel like you saw something right and maybe this is before you got uh to the point well yeah but this is not holding back i was gonna say before you got to the altar not holding back as long as it's not toxic you know i do feel like this is something that you'd like to do but i do feel like this is definitely a fear that you could end up in the poor house i mean we did see that ten of pentacles energy and so this may be a valid concern of yours gemini that somebody could be you know just in there to get something from you and not because they actually love you kind of situation but will play the part as long as they need to Three of Swords in reverse. You've learned those lessons, you know. You don't want to have to go through that again. You sat there long enough and deliberated and dealt with all of your past hurts. And so now you want to be able to not have to put that shield up is what I was hearing. 
not have to feel confused and into minds, you know, loving somebody but not sure if you can trust them kind of situation, leaving you not even, you know, feeling like you want to fight for love or, you know, have faith in it, if you will. This is what you want to avoid. You definitely are not giving a second chance to anybody who has hurt you in the past is what I'm hearing with this Gemini, which is absolutely what I would advise for sure. Anybody that's left you feeling like this and you were able to break free of this toxic energy, this devil energy, three of swords in reverse, and able to heal yourself, absolutely don't give that another chance for sure. Judgment in reverse. You know the truth. And you know when you see it and that you got to get the heck out of there as quickly as possible. If you don't, you know, these are situations you can get trapped in. So you're going to have to make the decision, you know, what is it that is truly going on here? What do you see? Be honest with yourself. Because again, you don't want to get trapped in a fairy tale, a fantasy, be hypnotized all your life thinking that one day everything's going to be great you know people say oh i don't think i can get hypnotized or it's not that easy well yeah it is because we stay in relationships and situations that seem crazy when we look at it from the outside but we somehow justify it in that rationalized hypnotic state that we've been in for however long <laughs> okay so the energy is gaining momentum with this situation, so you are definitely gaining more and more clarity about this is what I'm seeing. Luck is on your side, which is really good to see, so just keep aiming up, looking up, asking spirit to give you those answers that you need, because, you know, even if everything has to come down, it's worth it to have what you're really going to appreciate and enjoy. It's like when that scab heals, you know, <clears throat> on a wound, it sucks having it there. But then once your skin is all healed and everything's good again, you know, it's fine. It was worth it. You knew that there was a reason for it, but the process is no less annoying, right? <laughs> all right, what else for Gemini, please? Gemini, please. Oh. Here we go. The answers you need are coming, absolutely. They may come hard and fast too, is what I was hearing, especially with that lightning energy. And your dreams need a practical plan because again, you may need to reconsider your direction ahead. You may need to be strong like the bull here and the Taurus energy, all right, as you're moving forward and hold your vision fixed moon so you know don't let anybody take your focus off of what you know is right and true for you and especially the truth you know don't let anybody mentally manipulate you prosperity lies ahead again be strong like bull coming out again hold your vision don't let anybody move you is what i was hearing spirit saying you know this person may be pretty persuasive but it's time to let the hammer of thor the thunder come down on these jackals whatever you want to call them i thought jackals looking at this desert energy but you know enough you know of all this suffering and whatnot enough is enough you ever get to that point playfulness you ever get tired of people just playing with you is that what it feels like maybe this person is doing gemini in separation, maybe they come and go, they're here, and when they're here, they're all about you, but then they go away, and it's just a very non-committal type of energy is what I'm seeing in this situation. You know, they wanna be there when they wanna be there, but you know, again, this childish energy, playfulness, children, or else you've got children that are affecting your relationship. But overall, Spirit is saying, if you're wanting to call in someone who's truly meant for you, get on the right page. Get connected with the angelic realm like that was showing us in these other cards for you, the winged wise ones. All right, connect with your angels or connect with your guides 
and figure out what that looks like for you and start to draw that kind of person in not these same past people right that you're gonna have to you know get contracts with and not sure if you can trust them and what to expect from them childish behavior is mostly what i'm seeing yeah again you, you're not sure if you can trust them, like I just said. All right, Gemini, this is going to be one for you to figure out, but I feel like you're going to receive something that's going to help you make, you know, it's going to be kind of like that straw that broke the camel's back kind of situation. Uh, that may be what it takes, but whatever, you know. I do hope that you get the answers that you need overall. That is what's most important. So blessings to you, Gemini, for your week ahead. Hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. I'll see you soon, and bye for now.